Johnny. And it's time for a second draft, much like the first total shit. So I got this book, Cartooning, Philosophy and Practice by Ivan Brunetti. And it's like this university course in a book. And I'm slowly working my way through it. And last night, I tried out an exercise where you had to draw some basic pictures of like a phone or a car or a cat in progressively smaller units of time. So you started with three minutes and then you shrunk down to two minutes and then you got to the point where you're trying to draw a cat in five seconds. And I don't know if you tried to do that, but it's hard. So today I'm just going to go ahead and do exercise 1.2 right in front of all y'all. And the idea here is, is that you brainstorm 25 cartoon characters and then draw them within five to 10 seconds. I'm going to time lapse this because I don't need you guys trying to figure out whether or not I've went over time or not. Cause well, frankly, like who cares? I'm already a big cheater. You all know that. But as I was going through the last exercise and this exercise now, what I realized was that this is hard because five seconds gives you enough time to output total shit. Okay. So if I'm honest with myself, some of these have like a certain charm, but they're not good. And it's actually kind of depressing, especially when you start in on a character that just is a total washout from the second the pen hits the paper to the very end. You're just like, what have I done? But in a lot of ways, it's also kind of freeing because, well, if you've made this mark and it's total trash, then that's okay because it's already happened. And I heard this great saying that for every great piece of work, there's about a thousand sketches that all totally suck. I'm pretty sure that's like a direct quote of like Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo or some other Ninja Turtle. But yeah, just as you have to get over your first draft of whatever being shit, you also have to get over the fact that, you know what? You're also going to make a whole lot of other drafts and they're also just going to be shit. Like to get yourself to the point of great artist, it's not so much about the work that comes off of your pen. It's more about how many times that pen hits the paper because that's all it is, man. It's all just practice and keeping on, keeping on, keeping on. Even when the only thing that your hand lets the pen do is make these just awful scribbles. Now, the interesting thing about this exercise is what Mr. Brunetti says about it. When drawing characters quickly from memory, one can be quite inaccurate almost as if one is inventing new characters and these mistakes can serve as the basis for new character designs. This allows students to see their own styles more clearly. A page full of these doodles can help a student discern certain qualities that are consistent within his or her set of drawings. These qualities are a clue as to what makes one's particular visual handwriting different or unique. And these should be embraced by the student. Art Spiegelman once told me a quote by Picasso. Style is the difference between a circle and the way you draw it. And until next time, the 1,000th draft is fun.